Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup too. well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Heavyweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height and reach. How about some Bruce Buffer? Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 39 wins, 14 losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Kenosha, Wisconsin, Ben Rothbard. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 13 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. Walt the Big Chicken Harris. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's gonna be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. It's a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Straight right is there. Yeah. Unable to land with that punch. Damage done, bleeding from his cheek now. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Able to check the high kick. Oh, collar tie. Oh, yeah, right here. Well, missed on that one. Hold your ground. I need you to go forward. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Landed that one. Superman punch. Superman. 
checks that leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Three minutes remain in the round. The King of Kenosha gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. What a punch. Nice leg kick. Nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, nice. Nice. Rothwell strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Body kick now by Rothwell. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And they separate. And he landed the right hand there. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. Dig and kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Connects with a right. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. What a oh round. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the fighter with a cut above his eye. It was sustained in that round. Now the cut man comes in. He'll try to earn his money, close it up, and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, huge block! All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Good punch. And that is a serious cut. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job. Oh! Right hook to the body. Look 
Get him with this hip into that kick. can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. The King of Kenosha gets caught with that. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh! Oh, and that is it, referee has seen it off, and maybe so have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance, way to land strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. So a big win for him here tonight, and a big statement made with that TKO. Let's see how the promotion chooses to match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Walt the Big Chicken Harris. Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you got to think this dude's going to get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's going to get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down in the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing.